Have you ever found yourself trying something new for the first time or doing something that's way outside of your comfort zone and then afterward just beating yourself up over it? Like criticizing yourself so harshly, picking yourself apart, like your every move, your every word, your every way you looked and being so incredibly mean to yourself that you would never actually speak to anybody you love that way and yet you're speaking to yourself that way? I know I have. Last week, I was driving home one day and the words, you suck at life came up. And it's, I truly believed it. I was like, I, I suck at life right now. All these things have been thrown my way and I feel like I suck at being a parent. I wasn't being present. I was annoyed. I was frustrated. I was, out, I was elsewhere. I was trying to get other things done and homeschool was like non-existent, like didn't, not even on the radar for that day. I was annoyed and frustrated with my husband. I was a little bit annoyed and frustrated with all the, the cleaning and the meals and the cleaning and the picking up after other people and the cleaning and all the things that have been thrown my way. Also annoyed with not being able to do what I wanted to do. All the things that I'm managing with the business, but not being able to, just so many things being out of my control. And I started beating myself up. Our inner critic wants us to stay small. At lisaconroy.com this week, I go through five strategies, five of the tools that I'm using daily right now to help me rise above the, the, the criticism and become more confident. Because when you're criticizing yourself so harshly, your confidence goes through the, like, through the floor. You think you suck. You think you're ugly. You think, and your inner critic is telling you this stuff. Nobody wants to hear what you have to say. You're ugly. You're too fat for this. Why would anybody even want to listen to you? Whatever it is it's saying, just know once you realize that she's not telling you the truth, and I say she because for me, she's my mean girl. She is incredibly mean. But once you acknowledge her and you realize how she speaks to you, you can identify her and then you can mute her out. And what you are left with is your intuition, is your truth, is your greatness. And that is such a key point right now that we can all be rising up to when it comes to becoming the person that we are meant to be. You'll never get there if you're victimizing yourself and you're putting yourself down and you hate who you are. For this week, I want you to focus on giving yourself some credit. I want you to pay attention to that mean girl and I go through the tools for this at, on my blog, but I want you to give yourself some credit every single day. Give yourself some credit. Celebrate what you've done. We go through life sometimes rushing so much and doing, doing, doing that we're always on to the next thing and we never acknowledge all the things we have done. We don't take a moment to appreciate who we are and what we've done. If we want more abundance, we want more joy, we want more fulfillment in our lives, then we need to start appreciating who we are and what we are doing on a daily basis. You are so worthy of an incredible, amazing, extraordinary life. But part of our challenge right now, because there's big obstacles, is choosing to rise above and grow into the person that we are meant to be rather than becoming small, staying small, and berating ourselves and going into that rabbit hole. Only you can choose. Give yourself some credit. Know that you are so worthy. And start identifying that critical, that mean girl in your head and know that she's not telling you the truth. Have an amazing day and enjoy your week.